Hello guys, and welcome back. Let us continue transformed as a pumpkin on a church. Yeah. We're gonna reach the top side, actually. Good thing the everything is set up so that we can do so. I'm up here because from this side I can jump to this thing here. And we're gonna be slightly and carefully going up here because this is the only way we can get on the second floor of the house without uh, necessarily climbing it as the pumpkin this is the only way to access and let's see we got the toilet here Happy landings, little one. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. So, in we go. Toilet. Here's a... Uh, a jiggy. <laughs> Two enemies that we can't defeat, so let's just get out of here. I guess we have enough golden feathers for now. Now, so let's see how Grunty reacts about this. I can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands, you filthy bear. <laughs> nice. Alright. So, as we are up here, we can get inside this little pipe tube. And here we have the last jigsaw and the last notes. Ta-da! Alright, let's get out of here. Now we're going to exit the world transformed. And let's do the thingy that I was gonna do. Maybe for those of you who have been watching since the start, you might already guess why it is that I I am exiting the, the world transform. And it's a place that it's only ex uh, possible for me to get in transform as a pumpkin. It's a really tiny hole. Of course, we gotta be really careful here, because if we fall, we're gonna die. There's a lava pit here, and it's the path is very narrow as you can see. It's pretty bad. Plus I have this PS2 controller plugged into the USB of my computer. And it's very sensitive so I guess I get a lot more reaction towards the movement of my characters. So let's see. Really can't fall here man. Not now. Not never. <laughs> There's another Brentilda over here. Remember to try and look, uh, remember the spots where you see that character. Alright, so as you can see, we have found another Cheeto book. Cheeto, Bear, and Bird have found once more another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. <laughs> Nasty witches, so cold I shall tell. Enter red feathers on sandcastle floor in treasure trove coal as usual. Alright. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Basically now, we could go back and I'm gonna show you guys. Let's see. I guess we can go to the to enter the red feathers. Now, I guess we can just go first and uh, I'm gonna show you guys a spot where you're gonna break the gate. But first, let me transform into Banjo so that I can do so. Let me go over here so that Mumbo Magic can be weakened. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna break the gate, then I'll transform back. And I'll show you guys what I missed. So I was supposed to break that gate before I entered the world, but you know. Alright. So now that we're back into Banjo Kazooie form, <coughs> show you here the spot where we're gonna be. I'm gonna skip it, actually. Oh. 
So over here, you can see that it's marked the last path, so it's pretty easy to find. Now let's break the gates, and I'll meet you guys at this spot, so I'll be right back. And we are back as Pumpkin. Let's go. Yeah, this would have been faster if I had remembered, but you know. Whatever. I guess that's the beauty of editing out stuff, and you, should, you can just go straight up, and it doesn't matter if you forget something, you can always just skip it, get it done quicker. Okay. So, we got another Mumbo over here. He's gonna transform us back and forth as we please. You're gonna have to transform back into a pumpkin so you can exit this uh, spot. Okay, so let's break this thing here. Think you can't do anything on the sides. Let's uh, push the switch. Very important. It raises the water level. We have been there, and only that. It's hard to recognize from that angle. So I'll be right back. Alright, so we're here. Close to the entrance of Rizizi Pig Peak. Up here, we activated the group Tilda. Uh, Jigsaw that it's on the eye of this statue. So, this is the way you're gonna get it. Just gonna jump from here, get on the nose, and then break the eye. Just go in and get it. Easy. Ta da! Alright, so I'm gonna skip now. Here I am at Treasure Trove Cove. Let's spell red feathers. Easy enough, I guess. <laughs> Feathers. There's one more of these uh, Shito books that we're gonna find. So, yeah. Alright. So we got now a hundred feathers. It's gonna be sweet for flying a lot. Oh, my feathers, it makes me sick. Fly to me, your butt I'll kick. <laughs> okay, so I'll skip again. Here we are, back at the path. Let's go in. This time it'll be different because we rose the water levels. Now the entrance is underwater. Uh, here we can't do anything for now. Okay, so now over here, we're not gonna keep going. We're actually there already. We're gonna have to do some couple of the stuff here so that we can raise the water level once again and we can activate this next world over here okay let's just climb up here let's see and it's over here the switch so let's activate this thing got it up we go. And now a new path has opened. Let's go there. Doo -doo -doo. Here's the, the shortcut. You'll see now the location of the second one. And yeah. Now let's see. We're going to enter this path that opened just now. And we're gonna activate the next world, and I guess that would be it for this part. Uh, yeah, this next world it's easy, but it's the world that I actually fell into my death in the practice run, so I hope it doesn't happen again. Alright. Really nice. Ta-da! Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh yeah, I forgot something. Let me skip. Here I'm back at the freaking Mat Monster Mansion. I forgot to check the other window on the second floor. 
here's the second honeycomb piece which activates a new honeycomb slot. Alright, yay, okay. So I'll see you guys on the next part. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye bye.